TikTokers who did terrible things, episode 43. Austin Joseph Garten, otherwise known as Austin Tamargo, aka Austin Stimulus. Creator class type, e-beggar. Specialty, just one more day. Claim to fame, directly in front of the children. So this one is without a doubt, the most heavily requested individual in the entirety of the series and for more reason than just one. It all started when Austin posted a video offering to raise funds for one random follower of his page. Effectively, he would allow followers to donate in his live streams under the assumption they had a chance at winning the entire pot. Well, the only winners that ever existed would post response videos covering their face in dark rooms and things of that nature. Yep, people continued falling for this every single time. But then, somewhere along the way, Austin realized it was actually much easier to just beg for money day in and day out. He's made it abundantly clear that he doesn't believe in work and that he firmly believes in communism. And while yes, that is controversial in and of itself, I think it's worth pointing out. When it all began, the people that wanted him gone the most were also unemployed, many of which could work but refused and tried to justify their needs over his. However, it is also worth noting this guy has made a lot of enemies along the way. You see, Austin used to live less than a mile away from me in New Bern, North Carolina. He never knew it, but he did. And if there's one thing this town knew about Austin, it's that he had a habit of borrowing money from people, having to be pressed to get paid back every single time, till eventually he had burned every single bridge he had come across. His last roommate finally kicked him out, forcing him to head back west. The guy streamed day in and day out, raising money using power sources outside of buildings at night to continue streaming and make his way from the east coast all the way back over to the west coast. But enough with the small talk. You see, just last night, the most famous e-beggar on TikTok got caught doing some very unsavory and downright disgusting things on a live stream. Things we seriously cannot mention here. Because anybody who has tried to speak out about this incident, their videos have been taken down immediately. I mean, this is one of the first situations that I have personally spoken to several different creators that are in fear of speaking out. Several of which have since taken down their own videos in fear of losing everything they've worked for over the past few years. The video in question is still floating around this platform. It is easily accessible. My friends, and frenemies alike. I leave you with this. Oh, so y'all thought y'all could get rid of me. <sighs> I'ma keep on coming back. They're not gonna stop me, bro. Back in all those congressional hearings, I had TikTok's back. You know, I thought TikTok was so great. Now I'm seeing they're willing to silence and ban somebody who never did nothing wrong on the side.